Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are continuing to walk through the book of Proverbs. We're still in chapter one. And today our theme is listen for and listen to wisdom. Listen for wisdom and listen to wisdom. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter one, verses 20 through 23. Out in the open, wisdom calls aloud. She raises her voice in the public square. On the top of the wall, she cries out. In the city gate, she makes her speech. How long will you who are simple love your simple ways? How long will mockers delight in mockery? And fools hate knowledge. Repent at my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teaching. Wisdom is not silent. Wisdom is calling out. I love in the book of Proverbs, it personifies wisdom and folly. Interestingly, in Proverbs, both are personified in the female. That This woman, wisdom, cries out for us to follow wisdom. This woman, folly, cries out for us to follow folly. But both foolishness and wisdom are calling out. Let wisdom win in your life. Listen to wisdom. And the best way, the absolute best way to hear wisdom is to read this book, to open the Word of God every day. And I encourage you again, read the book of Proverbs, read it regularly, consistently, all through your life. But wisdom is not silent, it's crying out. I, I love these questions. Do you love your simple ways? Are you going to ignore wisdom? See, wisdom cries out and says, some of you, you seem to like the simplicity of your thinking. Some of you like the mockery that you're involved in. You don't, it's almost like you don't want wisdom. You, you, you're going down the wrong path. You're going down the path of folly and you kind of like it. Well, can I tell you, in my life as a, as just as a human being walking on this earth, there are people who do the dumbest things over and over and over. And the people around them can see it. They might even say something. But people walk on that path. There's times where we sort of like the path that leads to folly. But wisdom says, listen to me, follow me. Listen to verse 23 one more time. Repent at my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. There's this call to repent. The word repent just means to turn around, to go the other way. If you're walking on the path of folly, if you're walking on the path of mockery, if you're walking on the unwise path, it's time to turn around, to listen to wisdom, to say, God, let your wisdom rule my thinking, rule my heart, and then rule my actions. And then there's one more thing we should notice, that God is waiting to lavish us with his wisdom. Then I will pour out, God says, my thoughts to you. I will pour out my thoughts to you. I will make known to you my teachings. God is waiting to give you wisdom. God is longing to give you wisdom. Turn to this book, read what it has to say. Glean out those truths that God wants you for this moment in your life. It's all true, but there's certain truths that kind of hit you right now in this moment. And so I encourage you, even as the Word of God encourages you, to dig in to God's wisdom. Here's my challenge. Keep reading this book every day of your life. First thing in the morning, if that works for you, do it. Lunch break, great. While you're driving, listening to the scriptures. If you just took a hook up your phone and play the scriptures and listen to them. In the evening before you go to bed, if your mind's still sharp, open the Word of God, listen to the Word of God, but fill your heart and your mind with God's wisdom. And then I want to pray with you. And here's the prayer I want to lift up today, that your heart would long for and hunger for the wisdom of God. Lord God, that is our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you've revealed yourself through the word Spirit of God. You stir our hearts. And so we pray that we would long for wisdom. We would love wisdom. We would seek after your wisdom. That we would have people in our lives who speak your truth to us and we'd learn from that wisdom. That we'd hear good sermons and be in good Bible studies and learn from that wisdom. That we would read the scriptures every day and grow in wisdom. Oh God, help us to know your wisdom, to be challenged, to turn away from that which is foolish, and to follow your ways. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, walk in God's wisdom this week. If you're part of a local church, Shoreline or some other church, jump in your church. If you're part of Shoreline, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock, wherever else you are, if you're part of a church, be part of the body of Christ and grow in wisdom with God's family. Have a great week.